so much, Seth. All right. Well, I am joined now uh, to talk about uh, Git, Git workflows and integration with Visual Studio, and I'm joined by Pradek and Tasser, who are going to talk with me about some of the different um, new Git and GitHub experiences that are in Visual Studio. Welcome. Hey, welcome. Hey, hey, hey Christina. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. It's great to see both of you. And I'm super excited about this because I'm actually a really big Git fan. I'm also a big Visual Studio fan. And I love to know how more of these things can work together. So let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, the idea, one of the, the more powerful ideas around Git, it's not just about version control. Like that's obviously a big part of it, but it can also be really great for team collaboration. So uh, Pradek, what can you tell me about what are some of the new um, features and, and workflows that can really help with team collaboration using Git? Yeah, sure. So, um, well, collaboration is kind of the theme of the hour here at Build, and a lot of us at Visual Studio have been working on improving collaboration for developer teams um, in these new kind of workflows that they're that they're working in. And um, so we've centered our design principles and customer, customer values around um, enabling developers to seamlessly collaborate. And so when we talked with developers and, and talked with customers, um, some of these main principles that came to light was that we found that developers are always switching between tools and applications, right? So you're editing yeah. coding in your in your editor or your IDE, and then you have to go to another application or the command line for a git um, for a git command, and then maybe to the browser for some for a pull request or some DevOps activity. And this kind of context switching creates a, a mental burden. Um, at, the, at the end of the day, you may say that you're used to this, but um, it, it does create that, that load. And we wanted to see, help you seamlessly um, uh, work on your Git flows without having to, to switch between these different contexts. And in, in, even in Team Explorer, the, what we had in Visual Studio for Git, uh, that um, had different navigation panes. So there was a complex um, navigation pattern in which you had to switch between pages. And we wanted to really help a developer focus on um, working on their focus flows without having to, having to switch. And speaking of discoverability, uh, when new users went uh, and tried to find Git functionality in Visual Studio, what we saw was that finding features wasn't that uh, intuitive and um, our naming wasn't that great either. And so we were working on improving all of those things and focusing on your, your new developer workflow um, in new Git experiences that we're building today. And speaking That's of awesome. uh, new developers uh, with Git, there's one more thing. We, we tried to um, enable clear status and high awareness so that um, when a developer tries to um, do some Git action. It's we've heard time and time again that it's like, what is happening right now? Like, what is this actually doing? And is my repo in the right state? And so we wanted to make sure that clear status was also something that we uh, focused on. Yeah, no, I think that's great. And and you you described a lot of I think uh, you described me to a T actually when you're talking about switching between different contexts. But also I think you know the process when you're getting started with something, especially if you're new or if you're not super familiar with your IDE. I think it's fantastic that you're working on making things more discoverable. So um, I, I think you have a demo that you're going to be able to kind of walk us through to show us some of these experiences. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So um, about the demo, just to give you a little context, um, we we found that there was like two different types of activities that developers are really um, um, are doing when they're when they're doing when they're working with Git. There's a very general. There's the while coding activity. So that's like your commit pull push when you're when you're working on your code typing. You just really want to just quickly do something related to Git and then jump back into your code. And you don't want to do that context switch and go to a different tool to do that. And so that's where we f focus these new flows um, to start off um, with this new experience. So I'll show you a quick uh, demo that uh, elaborates on those new features that we built. Awesome. I have Visual Studio 2019 open with my solution eShop on web already loaded and ready to go. I cloned this repository from GitHub using the new Git menu with clone repository um, where I could enter my URL or browse the repository, uh, whether it's on Azure DevOps or GitHub straight from Visual Studio. Um, so it's already here and ready for me. But let me check the Git tool window first uh, just to see the status. So I'm on the master branch and normally don't develop on that. So um, let me check out. I don't have. Um, 
the branch I want locally. So let me go to my remotes and check out the develop branch, which is usually what I work on. So I'm going to check that uh, branch out. Uh, it's going to switch to that branch and uh, show me the progress here on the bottom left. Uh, what I also want to do is just figure out what my la latest commit there was. So I'm going to view branch history from the Git menu, and it's going to show me that branch's entire history. And I remember, yeah, the last thing I did was the um, add the ability to uh, check out a product from the the web shop. Um, this is an ASP.NET Core web app where I can browse products and um, purchase them. So I added the ability to check out the basket and um, in this in this checkout file. So I remember that I did want to add another feature um, to this uh, checkout page. So I'm gonna not code on this, but I'm gonna create a new branch here first based off of the uh, develop branch. So I'm going to call it new feature and create that branch. So it's going to switch me to this branch where I can start working on the code. So I'm going to do a control Q search just to get, grab that file again. And um, once, once a checkout is done, it, it takes me to this page. And right now the page is pretty empty, but I want to add the ab ability to um, go back to shopping. So adding this code snippet, which uh, um, takes is a link which takes me to back to the home page to continue shopping. So I've added um, that small um, change over there. And I can see in my Git window, um, it, that file is under my changes section. And so I can stage that change by clicking on the plus button. And now these are my staged changes. So I'm going to add a um, commit message added a link to continue shopping after checkout. And I'm going to commit that the staged files and push them. Um, and so it's done that for me. And Visual Studio has uh, done that. And I was able to quickly um, add that new feature straight from the context of my code um, without having to switch around um, to the web or other tools. I love it. I love it. That's fantastic. So yeah. So you're not even you're not having to switch between um, you know your 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 uh, the web other tools. You don't have to bring up a, a terminal. Even you can do it all from within your code base. That's really really fantastic. Um, and I think that users are really going to appreciate that. Um, was uh, you said that that um, I guess that the the basis for this was just listening to a lot of feedback from Visual Studio users. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, we we were um, we used to we did a lot of customer studies, a lot of research, and we wanted to start off with this simplified experience. And we have a lot of uh, cool stuff coming up ahead based on feedback of, of other experiences that uh, that we are hoping to show developers as well. That's fantastic. So yeah, so kind of speaking about that, you know, there are um, there are also some some kind of futuristic uh, Git features that we're kind of looking at. And then Tasser, I know that you have a, uh, a like a, a more focused uh, kind of activity around Git. Is that correct that you that, that you can talk about? Yeah, that, absolutely right. That's correct, Christina. So the actually the other type of uh, activities that Git users are going through are focused activities, and uh, this is where you would want to step away from your code and use a full screen a real state and uh, you know to focus on these uh, activities and for uh, for these activities today we 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 found out that developers you know uh, do you know jump into another tool or even use their browser uh, to to interact with them and um, that's why for the next phase of uh, of git enhancements in visual studio we are working on a full screen experience where you would be able to browse and manage your repository this is where you would be able to do you know anything from exploring your uh, branch history view devs, uh, run interactive Git operations, and even you know, potentially uh, manage your pull requests without any context switching. So like, um, if we think about where developers spend most of their time today, we find that editing, debugging, and building code is the main part of their daily activities. And we are calling these, or we consider them uh, to be a part of their inner loop. Um, and then, so when they create a pull request, they uh, basically, uh, you know, they would 
you know, uh, go into what we call the outer loop, where they would be interacting with their team members and engage in activities outside of their editor. And the more disconnected these two loops, the more context switching uh, you, uh, you know, as a developer will be going through. Um, so basically, to minimize this context switching, we have been uh, thinking about experiences that, uh, you know, for example, uh, like uh, creating and reviewing pull requests uh, straight from Visual Studio. And uh, these experiences would potentially, you know, um, um, you know, bring those two loops together. So now, like, uh, just to show, um, you know, a demo or, you know, or something, um, you know, that help communicate what we are working on, I have, you know, a very early prototype that demonstrates how we might be able to achieve this in Visual Studio. So awesome. if, if, you're, if you are ready, I can share that. Yes, please do. Please, please show it to us. We'd love to kind of see this, this kind of proof of concept. Okay, cool. So this is the demo here. On this prototype, I'm starting from where Pratik stopped on his demo. After pushing our changes, we get a success message with a link to create a pull request. Clicking on this link navigates me to the repository view in Visual Studio uh, with a pre-populated create pull request form. And uh, we can also see that uh, there is an illustration of the operation that we are about to perform in the repo graph. Uh, one thing that we might want to do uh, before creating our, our pull request would be to review uh, our changes. And we can do that by clicking on files in the changes list, which would uh, show me a diff uh, on the right hand side here without having to navigate away from my uh, pull request that I'm creating. Now uh, let's uh, fill in any missing information and uh, click uh, Create. Uh, so as we can see here, uh, uh, that would uh, create my pull request and open it for me where I can add in any missing information. Uh, and while I'm waiting for uh, my team to review my uh, pull request, uh, let's work on uh, something else. Uh, so here you can see that I, I switched to a branch uh, called Hotfix uh, 23, where I've been working on my Hotfix. And um, yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw while, that. Uh, while doing that, I get a push notification uh, in Visual Studio about the pull request that we uh, created, telling me uh, that there are four new comments. I can uh, dismiss uh, this notification or click uh, on it if I think uh, that this is a good time for me to review these uh, new comments. So doing that will uh, take me back to my uh, pull request where I can interact with the team and uh, make changes uh, to my code without leaving Visual Studio. That's fantastic. I love it. I love uh, kind of that that early look. And I don't want to be, I guess, um, uh, overly simplistic, but it kind of looks like you're, you know, kind of almost bringing like a full like Git client experience potentially into Visual Studio so that, you know, it's even, even less of a reason for people to kind of have to, uh, you know, switch tools and 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 maybe um, switch mind frames. So I think that's that's really terrific. I, I love um, that that proof of concept. We've got a couple of uh, uh, questions coming in from the chat. And so one of them is from Matthew and he wants to know, can we clone over SSH or only over HTTPS? How does that work? Yeah, um, so yeah, we can definitely, with the uh, clone um, dialog and the clone interface in Visual Studio, you can clone HTTPS, um, you can clone over SSH. We recognize all of those uh, those different formats. And so any way that you want to grab your uh, grab the URL from github.com or even browse repositories, uh, you can you can do that and and clone. Fantastic, fantastic. And another question we've got in from, from David is, is he's mentioning that he's on Visual Studio 16.6 .6 and he doesn't see the Git option in his menu. And so um, he says this is kind of a new feature. And I think this is, so what, what do people need to do so that they can enable some of these features now? 
Yeah, that, that was that's an excellent question. So, um, yeah, these these features are in in preview right now. So they're they're not in Visual Studio 2019 release. Where we've just released them in our preview channel. So you need to download Visual Studio um, 2019 preview. And um, not only that, um, if you go to Tools Options and we have a Preview Features pane, and if you check the box for New Git Experience, all of these features will then just light up. So we have we're giving you the ability to turn off the features if you need to, um, and if there's any reason that you that something doesn't work for you or if you have feedback on on your workflow and and how uh, you use it differently and if you want us to add some features please give us that feedback Fantastic, fantastic, and and users can have uh, Visual Studio insiders uh, or preview rather uh, installed um, next to the regular Visual Studio is that correct? Yep, exactly side by side. Okay. Fantastic. So if you don't want to worry, if, if you're worried about messing up uh, one of your environments, you don't have to worry about that. Um, install the preview version and uh, and enable those flags. All right. Well, thank you both so much for sharing um, a, a look at, at these new Git options as well as kind of a preview of some things we can expect in the future. It certainly has me excited. And so I'm going to kind of do a, a mic drop or as I call it, my alias for, for Git Sash, and I'm going to throw it back to the studio. Thank you.